He's super macho. I like that. I'm old school. I like a macho guy. I like my guy's macho. You know, the kind of guy that's like, get in the car. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Where are we going? <laughs> eh, doesn't matter. Hmm. There is part of me that wants to be like, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> but I'm gonna get in the car now. <laughs> I'm gonna do what you say. <laughs> On my own accord. Here's the thing, I think women do like macho guys. I think we do. You guys just gotta know when to bring it out in the relationship. Because a lot of guys hide their macho. They're afraid it's too much. You gotta bring it out that first fight. The first fight you have with your girl, show it. Do you know how sexy that is? You're having your first fight with your guy, right? You guys are going back and forth and he just punches the wall. You're like, oh my God. He was pretending that was my face, Jesus. I might have to marry this one. There's something sexy about that because there's not a lot of guys now that are like that. There's not a lot, guys. There's guys now that are just... <sighs> yeah. They're wearing skinny jeans. Can we just discuss this for a second? Yeah. Yeah. Why is this happening? I don't feel safe. I don't, why are you wearing skinny jeans? I, what if I am in a situation and I'm with Mr. Skinny Jeans? <laughs> Something goes down, he's like, save yourself! <laughs> Make a run for it, baby! <laughs> uh. <laughs> we are talking marriage, me and the boyfriend. Are I know. <laughs> Aww. Was that disappointment or excitement? You're like, oh, don't. Don't do that to yourself. I don't know, we have married people here, right? Married people, woo -woo. Yeah. I take marriage really seriously. My parents have been together 55 years, maybe over that. Yeah. You can clap for them, they're in the back. Just give it up, they're in the back. They're like, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so I take it super seriously. So if I was gonna get married, I'd want a really good wedding. Here's the problem, people are messing up their weddings nowadays. Just went to my girlfriend's wedding, she wrote her own vows, I don't like it. <laughs> because she didn't just write vows, she wrote like an epic poem of every feeling she's ever had. <laughs> like she got up there, she was like, our love. <laughs> is like a blossoming flower. <laughs> And over time, it has become a garden of love. <laughs> and as the butterflies of the future, I'm like, what were you on when you wrote this? The love is like a butterfly. Couldn't it be like a cheetah? I want to get out of here. That's why I wish it was the guy's idea to write the vows. I feel like you guys just get to the point right away. <laughs> like he would have just got up there and been like, I'll try not to have sex with anybody else. <laughs> I'll try. Then they would high five and the wedding's over. It'd be the best wedding ever. <laughs>